We are in a new era of transportation. Electric vehicles are predicted to be the next disruptive market force for transportation and technology. Do you still believe it to be a thing of imagination? We will show you the benefits of electric trucks, which have the potential to revolutionize how energy is used. The Freightliner E-Cascadia The Freightliner E-Cascadia and EM2 are designed to meet customer needs for electrified commercial vehicles. Serving dedicated and predictable routes where the vast majority of daily runs fall between 45 and 150 miles. The E-Cascadia boasts up to 730 peak horsepower, with batteries located at the axle ends that produce 550 kilowatts of usable power. It'll have a range of up to 250 miles and can be recharged to 80% of its power within 90 minutes, providing another 200 miles of range. It's aimed at regional distribution and drayage applications. It's capable of handling a gross combined weight rating GCWR of 80,000 pounds. The EM2 medium duty truck produces 480 peak horsepower with batteries that provide 325 kilowatts of capacity for a range of up to 230 miles. It can be charged to 80% within an hour providing another 184 miles of range. It's designed for local distribution, pickup and delivery, food and beverage delivery, and last mile logistics applications. The EM2, said Nielsen, represents the broadest range of opportunities that are practical today. It has a GCWR of 26,000 pounds. Iveco Z-Truck And the future is Bio LNG. At the Hanover IAA show, Iveco revealed this concept truck featuring all kinds of new technologies. Z, of course, stands for zero, meaning that this concept emits zero CO2. This truck produces zero CO2 emissions through optimized liquefied natural gas technology and the use of biomethane. The concept is based on a heavy truck running on bio LNG with conformable tanks, enhanced aerodynamics, and a waste heat recovery system to deliver long-haul transport with autonomy of 2,200 kilometers and virtually zero CO2 emissions. You can expect zero accidents through the advanced use of automated driving technologies. It defines how new technologies and autonomous driving will change the role of the driver who will become an onboard logistics operator. Zero stress and zero waste of time with the driver's center design. The cab is freed from traditional constraints to be reconfigured according to different uses and the HMI, Human Machine Interface, to adapt the way it provides information as needed. The right information, at the right time, in the right place. The Iveco Z truck takes a step into the future, anticipating the way alternative energy, new technologies, and automated driving will change the driver's life. Its pioneering approach has resulted in this concept being protected by 29 patents. Without a doubt, we will see many features of this concept in future truck generations of Iveco. Hopefully, this includes a shower and kitchenette, which are also mounted in this truck. The Tesla Semi the Tesla Semi is an all-electric battery-powered Class 8 semi-trailer truck prototype which was unveiled on November 16, 2017 and planned for production in 2020 by Tesla Inc. The company initially announced that the truck would have a 500-mile range on a full charge, and its new batteries would be able to run for 400 miles after an 80% charge in 30 minutes using a solar-powered Tesla megacharger charging station. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the Semi would come standard with Tesla Autopilot that allows for semi-autonomous driving on highways. Tesla said that the Semi would be equipped with Enhanced Autopilot, a standard equipment that would provide semi-autonomous capability. Using more radar devices than Tesla cars and cameras, the system would enable the truck to stay in its own lane and a safe distance away from other vehicles on a highway, would have emergency braking, and would warn the driver of any potential hazards near the vehicle. Tesla also said that new technology with active safety controls would detect and prevent jackknifing. Musk said that the system would eventually allow several units to operate in an autopilot-based convoy, led by a truck with a driver 
that would be a cheaper alternative to rail transport. At the time, platooning was legal in only eight states and all required a human driver in each truck. Therefore, changes in legislation would be necessary to achieve Musk's vision. Media reports noted the lack of specification for vehicle weight, as payload is restricted by government rules for the weight of the combined tractor-trailer. In November 2017, Tesla said it planned to use the semi to transport cargo between Gigafactory 1 and the Fremont plant. The first pre-orders came in the day of the press conference. And by mid-January, around 450 semis had been pre-ordered. The original deposit required with an order was $5,000, which was increased to $20,000 after the event in November. In the Q1 2018 Tesla earnings call, Musk said that there were about 2,000 total pre-orders of the semi. W15 Workhorse W15 will technically be the first electric truck on the market with deliveries, set this very year. Although it's not fully electric, it is a plug-in hybrid. It can go 80 miles on all electric with a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack with an additional range extender supplying 310 more miles. The range extender, supplied by BMW, is just a gas generator that supplies power to the electric motors. It could possibly go even further on electricity, but 20 kilowatt hours are reserved for degradation. That means the manufacturer stated 80 mile electric range should remain the same throughout the majority of this vehicle's lifetime. You probably haven't heard of Workhorse and their plug-in hybrid truck and for good reason. Workhorse typically produces trucks and vehicles for fleet use. Think utility companies or UPS. They don't generally deal with the public. That is, until now. Workhorse opened up reservations for their W15 last year. The Workhorse W15 is nowhere near record-breaking with its 5.5 second 0 to 60 or 80 miles per hour top speed. Its 2,200 pound max payload and 5,000 pound tow capacity also don't stand out against its ICE counterparts for its size, but it's not meant to. These fleet trucks are mostly used for service calls and rarely haul heavy equipment. Being an electric work truck, you can obviously plug your equipment into the W15 and its 7.2 kilowatt charger. If you run out of juice, the generator will just kick on. Workhorse is working on a 14 kilowatt module that will be able to power an entire house in case of an outage. This electric truck is basically just a generator on wheels. You won't find much tech on this upcoming electric truck. The basics such as lane departure warnings and emergency braking are there, but you won't see any autopilot features. The interior looks just like what you'd expect from a truck built for fleet purposes. The W15 is based off a Chevrolet Silverado, but the chassis is fully designed by Workhorse. If you want an electric pickup truck, ASAP, deliveries are supposed to begin this quarter. The Workhorse W15 will start at $52,500 with very limited options. It is meant for fleet usage but is available to the public. Mercedes Self-Driving Truck On July 3, 2014, Daimler Trucks unveiled the transportation system of the future, the Mercedes-Benz Future Truck 2025. The truck of tomorrow will drive itself. The road is being paved by assistance and telematic systems that are already in use today. These were brought together in a highly intelligent system called Highway Pilot. The result? Increased safety, lower fuel consumption, and improved working conditions for professional truck drivers. Additionally, improved vehicle transport management and app-based solutions will enable fleet operators to save money. However, the pioneer among autonomously driving trucks is not just intelligent. The engineers at Daimler Trucks have given it not just a futuristic exterior, but a new life in the interior. The credo is, less is more, fewer controls, more freedom of movement.